A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 11 to 15. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. Let me tell you what's going on here. No one in history surpasses John the Baptizer. But in the kingdom, he prepared for you. The lowliness person is ahead of him. For a long time now, people have tried to force themselves into God's kingdom. But if you read the books of the prophets and God's law closely, you will see them culminate in John. Teaming up with him in preparing the way for the Messiah of the kingdom. Looked at in this way. John is the Elijah. You have all been expecting to arrive and introduce the Messiah. Are you listening to me? Really listening? The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 11 verses 11 to 15. There are some strange words in the Gospel today. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the Kingdom of Heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. The meaning seems to refer to those who are using violence to prevent people from entering the Kingdom and pulling away those who have already entered. In the context of Matthew's Gospel, this could apply to those Jews and others who were bitterly opposed to Jesus and his message. And it is still happening today, sometimes with violence and persecution, and sometimes in much more subtle ways. John the Baptist is truly an Advent figure. Jesus pays him tremendous tribute and says, There has been nobody greater than he. But this praise is followed by a startling phrase. The least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. What does this mean? William Barclay gives a beautiful answer. He says that something was lacking in John. He had never seen Christ on the cross. The deepest expression of God's love was missed by John. And so Jesus says, even the very least in the kingdom of God, inaugurated by Jesus, is in a more privileged position than John himself. John was not able to share in the abundance of life that was released through the death and resurrection of Jesus, as every believing Christian can do. John died ahead of Jesus. The Christians came after the death and resurrection of Jesus. We are indeed great. We reap the unmerited fruits of Christ's sacrifice. We are blessed, but not necessarily better than John. Our blessedness will be in vain if we will not be moved to renewal of life and to love of God alone in Jesus. John heroically fulfilled his role to prepare the people for Jesus' coming and pointed out Jesus when he came. Today ours is the call to follow Jesus' way and to give witness to his love to all people. We might conclude by reflecting that the role of John the Baptist is one that each follower of Christ is called to fill. It is up to us to prepare the way for Christ and his vision of the kingdom to enter the lives of people. In the verses of the Benedictus, a hymn that is prayed every day in the church's morning prayer, As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. <music>